But anymore. everybody but, should have communications with their child. A lot yeah. of folks. Well, well, well. How do? Tell me, how do you develop that? Uh, constant. You should. Uh, when I came up, mm -hmm. uh, we all came home together. We sat down. The entire family ate dinner. Mm -hmm. Uh, households are so transient now. Everybody's coming, everybody's going, everybody's on their Blackberry. So folks have to take time to, to bring everybody back together and put family back into it. Make them know that family is more important than that peer group standing right. in the corner. Right. Uh, one of our greatest concerns in the sheriff's office is the extreme number of open warrants that we have in Prince George's County. What do you, what do you mean by open warrants? Uh, folks that have were supposed to come to court or... or or charges were taken out by police mm -hmm. departments, the warrants are put on file. We have over 49,000 warrants on file right now. Very difficult. You think that's a high number, but it's actually yeah. not. We live in a tri-state area. Mm -hmm. There are, are things and rules in place that some warrants are not extraditable from uh, out of state. And And... What happens, the individuals know those rules as well as you do. Oh, yes, they do. So they, they can circumvent. They could go home <laughs> right. to the district right. or they can go home right. to Virginia and it's a non-extraditable warrant. Right. They don't have to worry about anything unless they come back to Prince George's right. County. Right, exactly. And they, like I say, they, they know the rules as well as you do. So uh, they're supposed to come to court, they miss court, and mm -hmm. your warrant goes in file. Mm -hmm. It could sit there for the next 10 years. We want to beef it's still up our viable warrant section. 10 Absolutely. Years? Ten yes. years later, that a warrant, warrant stays is good still until it's served. It that stays so is 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 no time that it the warrant will run out. Say that ten years or something. That warrant and once a warrant, you get served. a warrant out for a person. It stays on that docket. Is that right? It stays in our system in the in, miles, in, in the system, the local, yeah. statewide, and a national database. So mm -hmm. if you're driving out mm -hmm. of state mm -hmm. and it's an extraditable warrant in your stop, the mm -hmm. sheriff's office will come out there, pick you up, and bring you back. Mm. And we have a lot of extraditions bringing back prisoners. Of from George other County, states. From other states, yes. Uh -huh. uh. But then there are some charges that are non-extraditable, mm -hmm. uh, minor traffic charges, uh, mm -hmm. misdemeanors, mm -hmm. that we will not go out and pick you up and bring mm. you back. But what, so, what do you do? You, you know the person is in, in that state. Uh, you we can't leave do that anything. warrant open on file here in Maryland, so and if wait they ever come them. back to Maryland, oh, I see. then they're picked up oh, in Maryland. Okay, because I've seen uh, in movies and all where uh, individuals say, no, I can't go over there. They got a warrant out for right, me. Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so that's okay. So, so well, that's that warrant stays in the system. So uh -huh. whenever you come back to address it, mm -hmm. then it's going to be there waiting for mm -hmm. you. But we want to actively put more people out on the streets here uh -huh. in the county so, so how, pursuing those warrants. So how are you going to do that? With the budget problems. The budget problem, we've got most of our warrant deputies stay on the road on extradition. So mm -hmm. I'm looking at uh, every other jurisdiction. They've got uh, contract deputies that work the courthouse. Mm -hmm. That will enable us to put our full-fledged deputies out on the street doing more of the local work that mm -hmm. has to be done. So that person misses court. He shouldn't mm -hmm. wait for two to three years to mm -hmm. be picked up on that warrant. Right. If you miss court today... Mm -hmm. I would want a deputy knocking on your door this week to bring you in to answer mm -hmm. that warrant. So if we, we hold the criminals more accountable, mm -hmm. I think there's going to be less crime. Well, 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 tell me this. What about the uh, corporation? Since we are in the uh, uh, jurisdictions here of Montgomery, Prince George's, and uh, Washington, D.C., uh, basically the corporation now, how does that work? Do you think you can improve on the three uh, jurisdictions working closer together? Well, we actually have programs. Mm -hmm. We have deputies assigned to programs with the marshals. We have deputies mm -hmm. assigned to programs with the uh, FBI. Mm -hmm. So we are working very closely with the other jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. We're able, through those programs, to go out to these places and lock up folks on serious warrants. Mm -hmm. uh, most of our murder charges, our very serious charges, are acting on immediately mm -hmm. and oh, you have priority absolutely they have, we have priority. folks out there looking for those people mm -hmm. as soon as those papers are issued mm -hmm. well you, you know one of the things that uh, people are concerned about is car theft now uh, what do you think of is it anything that you're going to introduce to 
uh, sort of uh, deplete, you know, get that down uh, to a reasonable level because it's pretty high in Prince George's County. It's high, but we have we have deputies assigned to pro, or we had deputies assigned to car theft programs with the state police, mm. and I think this is going to take a public education program. Okay, uh, you get up in the morning in the winter time, folks mm. go out, start their cars up, go back in the house. Mm -hmm. You're giving that car away. Why? Right. Why do that? Uh, so we have to bring, we have to educate the public on what they should do, right. what they should not do, and I think that's going to bring that car theft okay. right down. Okay, how do you propose to do that? Uh, through public safety announcements, mm -hmm. through uh, local cable stations mm -hmm. like yours, mm -hmm. uh, CTV. Uh, mm -hmm. I think most of the network stations have so much public mm -hmm. safety time that or right that, that they require exactly. Right. right. So we can push that out there and through all of our uh, forums. We go out. We speak to the community mm -hmm. in different arenas, so we Good. can push that information out every chance we get. Okay, well, what about these forms, forms that you're talking about for information for the public to uh, uh, actually help the sheriff and the police do their job? Oh, we actually, uh, Sheriff Jackson has uh, forms where he'll go out, he'll speak to groups at churches. Mm -hmm. He'll speak at oh, civic at association right. meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody that wants to know more about law enforcement in Prince mm -hmm. George's County, We'll take a representative for each one of our divisions out, mm -hmm. and then they can talk directly to the person that's responsible for serving mm -hmm. papers, now, that's responsible for doing tack-ups, that's responsible for uh, serving mm -hmm. warrants. Okay. Now, uh, uh, what's the phone number and uh, information a person want to get you all involved in their uh, uh, civic association, church? Or they can person? call our main number, uh, mm -hmm. Prince George's County Sheriff's Office, and that's 301 Seven eight zero eighty five hundred, mm -hmm. and we've actually got a section that they'll push that phone call to that section. They'll be mm -hmm. able to set that up. Mm -hmm. And, and the section was is called. That's our public information. Public uh, information. Yes. You've heard it here on Ed Brown's show. Is that public information? You want to repeat that again, Dan? And it's the public information office out of the sheriff's office. That number is three zero one seven eight zero eight five hundred seven eight zero eight five hundred. And and. What about uh, uh, individual that witness a crime? Is that would that be the same number? Or would they call nine one one? They would. They would call nine one one, and that's actually the sheriff's office and the county police have distinctive mm. functions that they do. Right. Uh, the police department is your primary law enforcement agency, mm. so they answer calls for crimes. Mm. When you call nine one one, they'll answer that nine one one call. Mm. The sheriff's office historically has been the law enforcement arm of the courts. Mm -hmm. If the courts order you to do something and mm -hmm. you don't do it, it's going to be a deputy sheriff enforcing that court mm -hmm. order. I see, I see, I see. So, so there are mm -hmm. distinct mm -hmm. duties, mandated uh -huh. duties, state right. mandated duties okay. by the sheriff's office. Okay, Danny Hall, I tell you, it's great to have you on the show here. It has been my and, pleasure. And the fact that uh, uh, you are Prince George's, you uh, educated and everything, raised for your family here and everything, and you have an interest. In, and from your resume, you are really done a good job there at the sheriff department. And I'd like to uh, give you a chance to give a parting word. What are you going to do in this coming election for sheriff? Uh, we're going to move forward. We're going to uh, re-engineer some of our processes to make better service. We're going to provide better service to the citizens of Prince George's County. Uh, I started our original domestic violence unit. Uh, that's a passion. Mm -hmm. uh, we will continue and we will grow that unit. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, uh, again, I said uh, domestic violence mm -hmm. is one of my passions. passions. Okay. Uh, we started the unit. We were historically the enforcement mm -hmm. arm of the courts, but right. for domestic violence mm -hmm. in District 3, we are primary. Mm -hmm. If you call 911 mm -hmm. in District 3, which is Central County, mm -hmm you'll get a deputy sheriff that answers that call for service. Okay. So now we've actually crossed over to primary law enforcement. Sounds great. Okay, Danny, glad to have you here on the award-winning Ed Brown Show, and I wish you a lot of luck in that coming election there, because you, you, you're an individual who has lived here, know the county, and has outstanding awards to show for it. So good luck. Mr. Brown, November. thank you. All right, you've heard it here on Ed Brown. See you next time.